Hey, Truffle Sinjan here, the wealthy expat helping you lower your taxes, get a second citizenship, move abroad, and find freedom in this chaotic world. In this video, we're gonna talk about healthcare and health insurance when you are an expat, when you're traveling the world. This is a question that I get a lot, specifically from older, older generation people that are looking at my videos and thinking, oh, this guy wants to renounce his US citizenship. He's getting passports from these little islands. He's in this Muslim country. Am I really going to be able to do that lifestyle and also take care of my health? Do these places have good doctors? How can I get insurance in case anything happens? And these are real concerns that are extremely important. And I also take into account a lot of this when I'm picking countries to move to or to build a base in or to get a citizenship and so on. But we need to differentiate what is having a doctor that is always there with you or insurance that always protects you in that country to flexible insurance or flexible places that you can get healthcare from or at least help from a doctor. For example, in my case, I have full coverage health insurance here in the United Arab Emirates in Dubai. Many doctors in Dubai, they are trained in the United States, they're trained in the UK, they're trained in Canada and Europe. So they're not trained here and it's not like a little bubble they're expats, they're foreigners that were trained in other countries that went to medical school in the United States and then came to Dubai to take care of the taxes and pay zero tax or just to take advantage of opportunities here. So you have some of the best doctors in the world. And here I've really been taken care of very well whenever I've had some sort of problem, some sort of emergency, I go to a clinic, I go to a doctor and they take really good care of me. There's doctors here that have been practicing for 30 years their medicine and they're really, really good and great at what they do. And when it comes to insurance, I highly recommend you to pick a base that you have. Let's say that base is the place where you have your company or the place where you pay 0% tax or the place where you have a property, anything like that. And you also have the insurance and the main hub of your healthcare tied to that place. So in my case, Dubai is the place where I have my company, I have my main bank accounts, my assets, my liquid assets are all in Dubai and the United Arab Emirates. Therefore, I also have my insurance here. I have a residence permit that lasts me another two years and I can renew that. So I have that insurance in order if anything happens, I'm very well connected to Dubai and also it's very easy to come here. You can take a flight very quickly from any other country. Let's say an emergency happens and I need to go to Dubai very easy to go to Dubai, very easy to get into Dubai because of that residence permit. So overall, you want to create that healthcare and that insurance and your main doctor and everybody that you visit when it comes to health in the same place where you have your assets, where you have your property, where you have your tax savings structure. Now, when it comes to traveling health insurance, because that also takes into account, let's say that you are moving to the Republic of Georgia or you're moving to Portugal, which also has really good healthcare. And also with the golden visa, you could potentially even get very cheap or free healthcare in Portugal or any of these countries that obviously you don't wanna pick a very underdeveloped third world country to have your taxes and to have your assets in for many reasons and also to have your healthcare in, at least pick a developed country. Portugal, Dubai, there's many others. Malaysia, also very high healthcare. Singapore, if you have the money to get there. Some countries in Europe that don't really care that much about taxing people that don't live there or that are not tax residents, but you could potentially have your doctor and your insurance there. So there's options. I would pick the highest quality one. I picked Dubai because it's extremely well developed. Yes, the insurance is expensive. Yes, the doctors are more expensive than other places, but I'm protected in that sense. Then the actual travel insurance, when you are traveling from the main country where you set in or the city where you set in, let's say you come here to Dubai and you set your base in Dubai and you create a company in Dubai, but you're traveling constantly to Europe. You're traveling constantly to Asia, to Latin America, wherever it is, the travel insurance should be different, in my opinion, than your main insurance. Usually main insurance companies, they'll make it very hard for you to get worldwide coverage because obviously they're not gonna take care of you if you are not in that country, if you're not in the city. So for Dubai, for the UAE, for any problems that I have in my health, I have them under the insurance in Dubai. Then for external insurance, I use a company called Safety Wing. Safety Wing has been great, 
their insurance works really well, specifically when it comes to actually having this pandemic insurance. A lot of countries, they ask you for insurance to go there, to travel there, to spend 14 days there or whatever. They've been really great in that sense. There's also World Nomads. World Nomads doesn't actually cover some countries and some territories that I really like to go to. Specifically Ukraine, for example, they're a little bit hesitant in covering Ukraine. And my wife is Ukrainian. We go to Ukraine all the time, so I really need that. So that's why I actually got into Safety Wing in the first place. Great company. Their insurance works really, really well. Knock on wood, I'll never actually have to use their insurance in order to test it out, but so far it's been great. And that's exactly what I recommend. So an insurance in a place where you're based, have your doctors in a place where they're based, ideally a highly developed country or developed in the sense where the healthcare is really good. And you also want to test this out. So for example, when I was traveling the world, I was checking different countries. I remember I was in Croatia and I went to a doctor in Croatia, wasn't the best experience. Then I went to another doctor, I think it was in Slovenia, and I tested it out in Slovenia and other different countries. So I wanted to see what is the healthcare, what are the doctors like here, and so on. We also went in Thailand to a doctor. The doctor spoke perfect English, was trained in the United States, was a Thai person trained in the US, and there he spoke to us perfect English, took care of me and my wife really well. So you can find people that were trained in other countries that live in the country where you're based, and you wanna test this out. Obviously, if you have some disease that one particular type of doctor treats and nobody else, then obviously try to find that specific doctor in that specific place. But if you're just like me, that maybe you have some sort of problem, maybe you have like some pain in your knee or something and you wanna to go to a doctor, test them out in different countries, see which one fits best for you, which one you like, because your doctor is a personal relationship. It's not just, oh, this doctor is good, great. It's more of, do I get along with him or her? And that's what you want to do to find the best hub, the best place for you to have that insurance and have that healthcare. And the last thing I wanna mention is a misconception that a lot of people, specifically from the United States, from Canada, from Europe, from Australia or New Zealand, they think, oh, in my country, the healthcare is always better. In my country, the healthcare is the best. Actually, no. The life expectancies of countries like the United States is less than the countries that I spend a lot of time in. Portugal, Costa Rica, Switzerland, Singapore, all these countries that are very popular with expats all have higher life expectancy, better healthcare, cheaper healthcare than the United States. And this is something that people think, oh, I'm never gonna give up my US citizenship in case I have healthcare problems. There's doctors in other countries too. There's nurses in other countries. And people get mad when I say this because they, they're in this little bubble of the US or Canada. There's other places to go if you have a problem. And that's what I highly recommend people. But you wanna have a hub or a little base so you're not just jumping around doctors, that you have one doctor that you need to go to. And also if you're doing citizenship by investment, if you're doing some residence permits, you need health checkups, you need HIV tests, you need these different types of tests that are ideal to go to the same doctor for them. A doctor that already knows you. For example, here in Dubai, when I was doing citizenship by investment in St. Kitts, we needed a health checkup. I went to a doctor that I already knew, that I already trusted. And that's exactly what I recommend. And also have that travel insurance in case anything happens. When you are traveling, always get the highest premium package. Always get the best package, the absolute best thing that you could get. You never know what might happen. You never know what situation you might be in and saving $20, $30 to then potentially pay $2,000, $3,000 more is absolutely not worth it to pay less now. It's worth it to pay $10 more, $20 more to protect yourself later. So get the absolute best insurance in that hub, get the absolute best travel insurance, and then find your doctor that you feel comfortable with in that place where you're paying less taxes. Thank you for watching this video on the best healthcare and practices that you can do for your health all around the world while paying less taxes. If you wanna learn how to pay less tax, how to get a second citizenship, how to move abroad, how to find freedom, Find freedom is my metric that I look at when I'm looking at all these countries, when I'm finding a place to spend time in. Am I going to find freedom in that place, in this chaotic world that we're living in? If you want help with all of that, click that first link in the description, wealthyexpat.com, and book a call with me and my team to see if we can help you get a second citizenship, move abroad, lower your taxes, and put a plan together that covers all of these bases, that also covers the healthcare so we can build the best wealthy expat strategy plan for you. Book that one-on-one -on -one call, it's completely for free. Click that first link in the description and check out the video that is going to pop up 
here. It is the 10 best and easiest countries to get a residence permit in. A lot of people, they're not ready for a citizenship, they're not ready for moving abroad yet, but you are ready for a residence permit. Just the ability to be able to move to another country, to be able to get another passport, to be able to always get into that other country. Check it out right there, 10 best and easiest residence permits in the world. Subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and hit the like button down below. I'll see you on the next one.